Hello everyone and welcome back to What is a Film Degree? My name is Ryan Shapiro and I am the host. Today's episode is a little bit special. We have a visual demonstration. Now, in this visual demonstration, I'm going to be discussing what a slider is. Now, as you can see, I am currently assembling the said slider. It's a very simple setup. What you have to do first is attach the headpiece to the rotator. This is an easy screw mechanism. All you have to do is place it on, twist it the right direction, righty loosey, lefty, righty tighty, lefty loosey, excuse me, and then you just spin this knob right here, bring it back and forth, and that's basically all you have to do to it. Now I know you're probably wondering, what is this thing? What does it do? When would we use it? This is used to get those cool cinematic shots where the camera's moving. Now you might be thinking, why can't I just pick the camera up and move it around the scene to get that type of moving feel? And the reason for this is the shakiness that you would get within your hands. Everyone's hands seem to shake when they carry something heavy. Now you can use a physical stabilizer, but these are extremely big and they actually require lots of training and professional help to be able to use them well. So this is a good alter alternative and as you can see right here I am currently showing you the different speeds so you can go really fast with it really slow with it whatever you really need and you can also move it around this is an actually a very small type of slider they come in very big small medium sized what they usually do in large productions with large budgets is they actually have trolleys and dollies the trolleys are the things that you see directors sit on when moving around and recording everything. Dollies are more handheld, so you would put it on and slide it. You wouldn't actually twist like I'm doing here with this slider. There's lots of different types of dollies too, like Danny, Dana dollies, excuse me, and also film set dollies, long dollies, sideways dollies. This is just a type of small slider that you can use if you want to get a short little movement. Now you can see it can go fast, slow, and this is really important because in order for a film to look like it's moving, like you're moving with the camera, you need to show some movement within the actual camera itself. Now this might not make sense, but once you try it out, you'll see the different feel it gives off. Now in comparison to this, if you wanted to use an industrial grade dolly you would have to actually set it up which involves a lot of putting together screwing making sure it's level whereas this comes leveled as long as it's not leaning on something on the table or surface below it with a dolly you have to get a measuring tool to make sure that it's actually level now here's another angle where you can just kind of get in there a little closer and see just kind of how it looks with an up-close type of view. This is a pretty simple type of mechanism. We had them when I was producing, or not producing, but more so directing a short film last year. It was about um, how to actually start up a company. And it was kind of just like a mock type of uh, film I made but this is this we use this a lot I'm just intrigued by how smooth this one is obviously that's me recording this and me using it but I, I think that the most important thing to make sure of is that you get the smooth motion because if you get it bumpy and you put the camera on it you're gonna get a really bumpy type of feel which is really bad when you're watching a short film now it's easy to assemble and disassemble, it's just a couple of twists and knobs. This is a very simple type of dolly. When you get into the more advanced industrial dollies, you need a whole crew, you need PAs on standby, you, you need at least four or five people just to operate the moving dolly. Now I'm here showing you that you can pick it up. Um, obviously it's a little shaky because I'm just holding it, you would never hold it. But if you wanted to place up a couple apple boxes or things like that to 
kind of get an angle on it you could easily do this but it's very shaky if you use your hands I would never use your hands but that was just me showing you you can go up and down and here's me showing you how to pack it up once you're done it's really simple you just unscrew the head put it in the zipper take the whole contraption itself and put it in the bag so that's the end of today's episode of what is a film degree like always remember to follow our instagram what underscore is underscore a underscore film underscore degree you can follow us there and see what's coming up next week thanks for watching have a good one